Hey guys, it's Arika Misha and today I'll be recording my meal prep and today we will be meal prepping some thin sliced pork chops. So, um, so I've got my pork chops over here, give you guys a close up look, got some nice uh, thin sliced pork chops all nice and cleaned up, yep, give you another close look at that, nicely fresh clean meat all right you know what i forgot my fork hold on you guys let me get my fork get some napkins in case i need them okay all right we are ready to meal prep all right you guys know i'm always meal prepping my meals for the channel that i cook for the channel i'm always doing stuff ahead of time you know even if i wasn't recording for the channel i've always uh like to let my meat marinate for at least a day or two so these pork chops they will be marinating for two days all right so um all right got my pork chops all cleaned okay got my seasons so first thing i'm gonna do is go ahead and get them uh get the pork chops nicely seasoned uh i'll be showing you guys what i'll be using uh we've got the tab of the brown very good garlic dropping a little bit of that you know what i'm gonna take the top off drop a little bit of that in there all right we've got some McCormick garlic powder drop some of that in there we've got some Morton season all drop some of that in there and I have some McCormick minced onions those down in there and some Trader Joe's Green Goddess seasoning blend y'all know I love this okay got that in there all right let's get our pork chops in we're gonna layer these in the bowl all right yep you guys can see See how I did a nice little layer in there? Okay. Get my napkin. And we'll just do our seasonings. Another layer of our seasonings. Just repeat it. Alright. This is just how I like to do it. Like I tell you guys. Season your food how you want to season it. It's your food that you paid for. It's your food. Season it how you want to season it. I don't want nobody to tell you how to season your food. All right, so we got that in there. Let's do another layer of our pork chops. All right. Okay. And we're going to do another layer of our seasoning. Quick and easy. Just quick, quick, quick. Throw your seasons in there. Just throw it in there. All right. That garlic powder comes out fast. Okay. So, got it all in there. And I just kind of flip the meat around. Make sure everybody is nicely seasoned. Make sure all sides are nicely seasoned for everybody. Make sure I get that seasoning at the bottom. Just kind of flip it around. And if I see one's got like too much, I just kind of spread it around, rub it in like that. Okay. Flip it around. Just toss it around. Just making sure everybody's seasoned on both sides. Okay. And if I have seasoning at the bottom, I just take a piece of meat and just kind of, you know. Spread the love, spread the season, spread it all around. Make sure everybody's seasoned on both sides. All right, all the 
season is gone at the bottom. Okay. Everybody is seasoned. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my fork. I'm telling you guys, ever since I've been doing this, my meat is always nice and juicy. I always take my fork. If you have watched any of my meal prep uh, videos, I always take my fork and I just kind of poke the meat around. Just, just give it a couple stabs. It helps tenderize the meat. I know it's not a steak, but it helps make that meat nice and loose and juicy. Holds the juices, holds the season, all that good stuff. Just try it once. You'll see what I mean. Okay, and I'm just gonna take my pork chop and I'm just gonna poke you with my fork like that. Flip it over on both sides. Like I said, this is something that people usually do with steaks, but I do it with all my meats. I'm telling you, it makes it all, it makes such a big difference. I'm telling you, it makes your meat more loose and more juicy, holds all your seasonings, all the juices when you're cooking it, however it is you're gonna cook it. I'm just Poke my meat just like that. Quick and easy. Just give it a few stabs, flip it over. Other side, flip, flip, flip. Easy, easy, easy. It's what I do. All right, and I gotta show you guys, I'm gonna be adding, now that we have these all nicely seasoned up, um, I will be adding, you guys will see what else I'm gonna add. Because you guys should know, this ain't gonna be no plain pork chops. Oh, no, no, no. Y'all know I'm always doing something extra. Always doing something. All right, let's get those on the side over there, the ones we've poked. I'm telling you, this really, really makes a difference in your meat. Nothing wrong with having your meat even more juicy, more loose, more soft, and oh, delicious. I'm telling you. I take a fork, I be stabbing everything now. I get all my meats a nice little tender okay last piece see quick and easy it's not something that's gonna take you all day just to poke it with a fork so all right so we've got everything all right I'm gonna go ahead and get these laid back out everything all laid out in our bowl let's see and see I like working with this big bowl gives me a chance to get my meat all spread out you know so I'm going to put these over here. Let me go wash my hands real quick and I'll show you guys what we're going to do next for these pork chops. Quick and easy meal prep. Not going to hurt you to show a little extra love to the meal that you're, the, the food that you're cooking for yourself or your family. You know, it's, it's the little things. I'm telling you, it's the little things. Okay, so we've got everything here. I've got my other rest of my pork chop over here. I'm going to be adding the sweet baby rays gourmet sauce, the garlic parmesan marinade. Yep, you can use this for wings, whatever you want to use it for. But this is also, you see, it's a sauce and marinade. Okay? So that's what we're going to be doing to our pork chops. Squeeze some around. We'll flip these over. Make sure our other side gets some sauce. Just imagine these pork chops being marinated for two days in this garlic sauce. Oh my goodness. So good. So juicy. Oh my goodness. Y'all definitely got to come back and see how I cook these up. Y'all got to see. You can't just watch the meal prep video and don't watch the actual meal. You gotta watch it. You gotta follow it through. Gotta follow it through. Okay, so y'all see I got the other side marinated. Go ahead and throw my next layer of pork chop in here. And I'm telling you, this does not take long to do. It does not take long at all. Go ahead and squeeze all that marinade on there. I'm going to go ahead and empty the bottle. I actually only had uh, half a bottle left because the other part I used for some wings. I'm sure you guys probably saw that video. If not, I'll try to remember to leave it linked below. But this is good. This is good for a marinade. This is good for some wings if you want, however you want to use it. Oh, that does not go with that. All right. Okay, let me see. Get this cleaned off. 
because this is my seasoning top. Okay. All right, let me stop trying to put that on there. Okay, so we've got our meat seasoned and we've got our marinade on there as well. Let me go wash my hands again real quick and you guys can look at that. Look how delicious that looks. Doesn't it look so good? Gonna marinate for a couple of days. Which is gonna make it taste even better. Even better. Tell me. Nothing like letting your uh meat marinate for a couple of days. I ain't saying let it marinate for four or five days. I ain't saying that. Nah. The most I let my meat marinate is two days. That's the most. I mean, cause you already know raw meat can't sit around like that. And I put it in like a real cool, the coldest bar, uh, part of my refrigerator in the back where it's nice and cold in that corner. That's why I keep it at. So that's why it's nice and cold. Okay, so as you guys can see, I'm just gonna take this using my fork because you know this marinade can get a little messy. I don't want it all over my hands. I'll just take my fork and I just toss it around. Make sure everybody get covered. That's what I do. I just take kind of, you know, take take one pork chop and just kind of move it around like that. Flip them around. Making sure they're getting nicely coated, nicely marinated. And just kind of put it to one side of my bowl. And remember, we already seasoned them. So they're already nicely seasoned. I know a lot of times you may think the marinade is enough. It's not. It's not. I've tried the meat, seasoning the meat with just the marinade, and it's not enough seasoning. You may think it is, but it's not. That marinade is not seasoned enough. So, I always add a low season to my meat. So, all right. Get that flipped over, looking good. Get that flipped over. Everybody is looking delicious. Delicious. Okay, looks good. Looks good, looks good. All right, I'm almost finished making sure everybody is coated with our garlic parmesan marinade. Okay, we'll put this over like that because that side needs a little bit more sauce. Just kind of toss it around. Nothing serious, nothing big. Okay, all right, perfect. So you guys know I got my bowl. This is what I usually put my meat in. Um, it depends. I mean, certain meat I have to use a bigger bowl, but this bowl is good enough. All right, let me see a little marinade got in there. All right, the only thing I do, I just sit my pork chop down in there like that. They're gonna get nicely packed in there. That way they can, <coughs> excuse me. They can just sit in there all nicely tight. I'm gonna pack this pork chop in here really tight. You guys can see me doing that. Oh yeah. You get y'all down in the bowl. Okay. So y'all can really see what's going on. All right. Get it all nicely packed. And as I grab my pork chop out, I'm just, you know, kind of sliding it across the bowl so I can get that all, make sure I get all my sauce out. Make sure you get all your stuff you paid for. Oh yeah. Oh, that's gonna be good. Y'all can tell me that's not gonna be good. Oh, that's gonna be delicious. Ooh wee. I'm not even gonna tell y'all how I'm cooking these. Y'all gotta come back and see. Mm, 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 mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Okay. That flipped over. Oh. Oh, that is gonna be so, so good. And of course, the rest of my marinade, I'm gonna scrape it out. Make sure you get all your stuff you paid for. All right, get that scraped in. Make sure we get all our marinade, okay. All right, we move this out of our way. Okay, all right. Looking good. All right, and we are ready. Look at that. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Mm, 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 mm. Give y'all a close up look. Ooh -wee. All right, and that is it. 
Oh goodness, I got sauce all over me. All right guys, that is it for my meal prep. Close it up tightly. They're all nice and packed in here real tight. Make sure that lid is on nice and tight. And that's it for our meal prep, guys. All right. Make sure you come back and see what it is that I cook with these garlic parmesan pork chops. Le pork chops of le parmesan. That's my French, y'all. But all right, guys. Don't forget to go in that description box. Click on that link to my second channel. That is actually it's my first channel. It is my spiritual journey channel. If you guys are into that. Uh, yep, just my spiritual journey. Talking to you guys about, you know, my life with Christ. Living for God. All that good stuff. Uh, the link will be in the description box, guys. Make sure you click on that link. Go over there. Show me some love on my first channel. All right, guys. This is Arika Misha. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on all my social media. Thanks, guys. Bye.